I'd like to give a huge shout out to Nerd3 for helping with the intro. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do your bridge straights, curves, double tracks, and the bridge snapping method. So without further ado, let's get into it. We are going to use this pre-existing groundwork to make our bridge. To adjust the gradient, you can hit the Q and E keys. So what we need to do is go into our construction menu, click on the groundwork, and choose the constant dirt groundwork. We will then place the groundwork on top of our pre-placed one and drag it out. While dragging it out, we will then hit the left alt key to keep it straight. After that, we will then start to curve the groundwork and end it with a straight for our bridge. Now that the groundwork has been placed, we will do our bridge straight along with our curve. So what we need to do is go into our construction menu click on the rails and then click on the three foot rail. We will then click at the back and then the front of the crossover track and then we will hit the left alt key to keep the track straight while placing our initial bridge. While placing down the track we will follow the groundwork and adjust our curve accordingly. So now we are going to continue with our bridge straight. So what we need to do is go into our construction menu, click on the rails, select the crossover track and place it at the end of our curve. From there we want to reselect the 3 foot rail in the construction menu and connect it to the back and the front of the crossover track. We will then hit the left alt key and slightly bring out our track and place it down. Don't worry about this piece of track as it will be deleted. Now we can continue with our straight. Now that the straight is done, we can now delete the crossover track and alignment track. we reselect our 3 foot rail and connect the parts that were deleted. I've gone ahead and placed down the secondary dirt groundwork and crossover track to show how to do the double track guide. What we need to do is go into our construction menu, click on the groundwork, select the viable stone wall groundwork and from there, we need to place the arrow in between the crossover tracks and approximately halfway in height. We will then slightly place the stone wall arms next to our tracks while adjusting our gradient accordingly for each placement. When we get to our curve, we'll do short to medium placements and make sure that we slightly touch our rail. Once our track guide is completed, we will start our straight first to help with our curve later on. Like the last time, we need to go into our 3 foot rail, click on the end and the front of the crossover tracks, bring it out slightly and place it down. From there we will continue our straight and after we will delete those initial tracks. We will place down the crossover track again and repeat it for the other side. Now that our straight has been completed, we can now delete those initial tracks and connect them with our 3 foot rail. 
Now we can continue with our straight and curve. Like before, we need to select our 3 foot rail, click on the back and the front of the crossover track, and lay our track down along our guide. Sometimes depending on how the guide was done, you may need to put a slight gap between the rail and the guide. Once we get to our curve, we want to place them down where we see the stonewall arm corners. This will help us to align our curve accurately, and then we can connect it to our straight. Now that everything has been done, we can now delete our stonewall guide. Now we have come to the fun part. We're using the dirt groundwork to help us with the bridge and stonewall groundwork. We'll need to go into our construction menu and click the viable stonewall groundwork. We will put the arrow on the sleeper where the snapping chain link is. We will be doing this through the entire track while adjusting our gradient accordingly. How much is up to you? We will do the same method for our viable wooden trestle bridge. This method can work with the metal version, but it will require you to go further out to spawn the support beams. Once we are at our curve, we will right click to cancel it and reselect it in the construction menu. Using the snapping points, we adjust our gradient and then place it back down again. We repeat this process through the entire track. Now that everything has been completed, we can now delete our dirt groundwork. After the groundwork has all been deleted, we now have a complete bridge. We now have a stone wall bridge and a trestle wooden bridge. Alrighty everyone, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you want to see more railroads online, hit that like and subscribe button as it will help my channel to grow. And I will see you all later.